Attention! It is time to change the channel! Live from Philadelphia! It's Mr. Pritchard's Art Room! Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Mr. Pritchard. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Seems like you're still trying to replace me. Well, I understand. I'm still the host. I'm still Mr. Pritchard. We have an interesting uh, lesson today. We're going to be studying the artist Robert Steele. I've also seen the usage of the name Romo Steel. I'm thinking the other name because there are so many Robert Steels that are artists in the world. And I'm thinking that might be where Romo Steel comes from. Not a lot of information out there. I read something that the artist was either working or living around Brooklyn, New York. Great stuff, though. Very powerful statements. Some of the artwork is in color. Most of it is black and white. It seems to be uh, pencil drawings. As I said, very powerful statements about society, politics. Well, let's get into the artwork. Am I still the host? Let's get started. So this is the artist, Robert Steele, or the other name I've been seeing is Romo Steele. And as I said, I believe it's because there's so many Robert Steele artists out there. Starting off with some art in color. The butterfly with the flower, it says, love all souls on the wall. And a portrait. I wonder if the portrait is related to the artist. I don't know. Few pieces of artwork at the start in color, yet most of the artwork is in black and white. And it seems to be in pencil. Here's another one. It seems to be like the housing crisis. As I said, the artist makes powerful statements. The other one says winning strategy. And it seems like a battle is going on. And it's quite sad because there's children involved getting hurt in a battle. You know, children being victims of a battle between adults. Sad. Now we're going to get into the black and white art. This first piece is based on gentrification of a community. There's something horrific going on behind with the police and a person on the street and in front of them are two individuals super happy, oblivious to what is going on around them as they're taking over the community, one would say. This one is more political. One for Barack Obama's presidency, one for George Bush's presidency. Now, the artist speaks out about lots of different topics, not just one topic, but lots going on at this time, too. This one is based more on Wall Street. There's a massive protest going on behind these individuals up front that seem to have all the money and can care less what's going on in, in behind them. Similar to the one we saw with gentrification, this careless attitude of what's going on around. I put this one here. I'm not exactly sure the story, but we have two dogs. One looks like DC. One I'm not too sure where the dogs are. They seem pretty mad. Now, some of these pieces I'm, I don't know much about, so I'm wondering what your thoughts are going to be on the artwork. Now, this piece here I've been showing classes for many years. It has Disney characters as security guards, and the children are going into a center with barbed wire, a flag with a dollar sign, and the sign above the door says, Juvenile Redirection. Very powerful statement. I wonder what your thoughts are on this piece. Now, these two images I put together since they both have writing in them. 
The one on the left says, I don't believe that in fancy cursive writing. Has an Afro-American person about to be attacked by a dog that a white lady is holding back along with the crowd of white individuals and police. On the right is an image that says, these people can't stand freedom. It's people being captured as, like, seems to be a battle is going on behind them. And it seems to have a very deep story to it, the person kind of smiling that's capturing the individuals. These next two images, I don't know as much. As I said, I don't know a lot about them. I wonder if the titles would change my mind or our mind on them. For now, I'm thinking the one on the left might deal with child soldiers that are captured in becoming soldiers, and the one on the right, maybe child uh, slavery. Uh, these two images also, I'm not too sure, seems to be more like a, a child soldier. Uh, same thing on the right, and two different worlds going on at the same time. I really don't know what's going on here. We have an individual almost like screaming that kind of has the appearance of a queen and someone being beaten in the background with like sticks. And it seems to be in some kind of palace. I don't know. What are your thoughts? This image has seems to be a soldier holding someone and there's more things going on in the background and I can't figure out if it's almost like a water substance in the front. And a sign in the background says, loot and be shot. I saved the last two groups for the end. These are my favorites. They're just so powerful. These two first images deal with a war and innocent people being involved in it. The one on the left has a family holding a child that seems to have passed away from a bombing going on in the town. Just the horror of the mother and the father screaming is very powerful and sad. The one on the right, similar things are going on, and even a child picking up a weapon. and Very scary, uh, just sad, emotional, uh, painful as innocent people caught up in a war. This is the last group. I've showed several of these in class before, too. A lot of these deal with the D.C. area. And just the difference in neighborhoods. The capital is way in the distance, yet in front is a neighborhood with like a house boarded up or a house that has been destroyed, a car that's been destroyed. And just this difference a block away. And why isn't money being spent to help out the community? The far right one, I've seen this image too many times in my life showing like a memorial for someone that passed away with stuffed animals and the child is holding the finger up to the mouth like the like, shh and I wonder why like maybe because people aren't talking about what's going on what did you think did you have a favorite a least favorite did one pull on your emotions for me, as I was saying, I really like the last two slides, and I've showed those before in class, and they're very powerful. We're going to get into the art production of the lesson, if I'm still the host and teacher. Am I still the host? Good. So we're going to be doing something similar to Robert Steele or Romo Steele. A lot of the artwork had something different happening in in the background, foreground, or middle ground, such as the one based on Wall Street. There's millionaires or billionaires kind of celebrating in the foreground, yet in the background, in like middle ground, there's protesters and some of them, there was like really horrific things going on. Similar thing with the gentrification artwork. Foreground has something different than what's going on in the background. Now I want you to think about something that you want to write about and draw about locally to us here. And as I said, foreground, middle ground, background. Now, if you're stuck on this idea of the differences, it's okay. You can just make a piece of artwork 
based on your powerful statement and what you want to express locally. Now, I'll give you an example. Last year, when we had looting here in town, it was a very scary time. Lots of things were going on. Helicopters, the news, more helicopters, you know, looting, violence, destruction, police cars being stolen. It was really scary. Really scary. Yet I remember someone from outside of the area was kind of like, oh, there was police helicopters? Because you know, they were somewhere different. And it really bothered me that the person didn't seem to be affected by it. You know, I feel as though everyone should have been affected by what happened. It was very painful. And so for me, for my piece of artwork, the background might show police helicopters, the sounds, and I might do all sound waves and and this level of pain, broken glass on the ground. And maybe the foreground might show individuals just hanging out watching TV. Um, two different worlds. Yet I feel as though everyone should have been affected by that and wanted peace. Well, let's get started. <laughs> 